Your next comic, this guy's one of my personal favorites, hands down, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Metzger. Yeah! Hey, hello! Hi! Alrighty! Uh, here in Richmond, uh, at a bar, uh, I recently saw the best piece of bathroom graffiti I have ever seen in my entire life. It was a single sentence written behind the toilet, and it said, If you wait long enough, I will appear and suck your dick. <laughs> Which sounded to me like a really fucked up urban legend, like, if you go to the old dive bar around midnight, a ghost will show up and suck on your penis. It's wild. It's real wild. I take that off the word appear. There's, you know what I mean? Like, it definitely seems like if I just hang out in this bathroom, a ghost is gonna show up, suck my dick, Say thank you, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what he says. What is he like? Hey, I've waited a thousand years. Thank you so much. <laughs> I will remember this for eternity. I don't know. <laughs> Why? Well, he had to see. The thing is, is that it's, it's like a really. He did a really shitty job of spreading the word because most of the time it's by word of mouth. Like if there's an urban legend, people are like, if you go and turn around three times and clap, and it's midnight, a bloody Mary will show up. This guy was just like writing it on the wall, like, please wait here, I want to suck your dick. <laughs> please, somebody. <laughs> what, what is it? What does a ghost blowjob even feel like? What is that? <laughs> is it enjoyable or is it? I bet it's just like misty on your penis. It's just, <laughs> just weird. You know what it feels like? I bet it feels like when you walk into. Spider webs and it's just you're just like ah oh, fine. There's like nothing there, but it's annoying. It's like they, you feel it, but it's nothing. That's probably just a bunch of spider webs on your dick. <laughs> He's made it super easy to summon him. By the way, you just have to wait long enough. You don't have to do anything else. There's a reason why it's hard to summon ghosts, and you need like a pentagram and parchment and black cat hairs and shit. Because it's super awkward if a ghost shows up because he mistook your diarrhea for a seance. <laughs> I'm here to suck you to- oh shit, sorry! Oh. Damn it! I thought you wanted me to blow you. Do you want me to blow you? Okay! Alright! Back into the mirror. Whoa! <laughs> Wherever. <laughs> Wherever he comes from, I imagine he comes from the mirror. <laughs> I, imagine he, I imagine he appears in the mirror and spends 20 minutes trying to talk the person into mashing their penis into the... Trust me, trust me. You just stick your dick into the mirror. It's cool, dude! It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will happen if you put your penis in the nether region. <laughs> <clears throat> Said every gay guy to every straight guy. All right. <laughs> Um, I actually think I'm done. Thanks, guys. That's all. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. Bill Metzger, everybody. Yeah. He runs the Cafe DM Open Mic, which is every other Monday night. Go check that out. It's an awesome show. Uh, your next comic. This is his first time here performing at McCormick's Irish Pub, but he's one of my favorites. I love this guy. I'm so glad he fucking made it out to this. So, ladies and gentlemen, make him feel welcome. Marquise Jeter! Yeah. Andrew Mahar, everybody. Yeah! Making the laughs from the Virginia Peach. God bless him. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Mahar, everybody. Let him hear it. We're gonna keep this show rolling. Your next comic, really funny dude, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Woody. Good evening, McCormick's. Hello. I am here tonight because Facebook has just fucked my life over. <laughs> it causes emotions in me now that I've never felt before. Like, I don't really consider myself to be an angry person, but Facebook has sucked me into a world of anger. Like today, I was at my job and I was browsing, and apparently there's a controversy over Chris Brown's new tattoo. 
<laughs> what it is, is actually a sugar skull. It is a, a Mexican Dia de los Muertos holiday symbol that he has gotten tattooed on his neck. And half of the symbol looks like a woman's face, and the other half looks like a stitched lip with a swollen eye. <laughs> Guess who it looks like? It just so happens that on him, it bears a striking resemblance to a beaten Rihanna. And people are upset about this. But Facebook has made me upset because people are upset at the people upset about this. They're like, it's a sugar skull. It's not a beaten Rihanna. You can't be mad at a guy for wanting a sugar skull. Yes, you can. If you beat Rihanna, you have given up your right to wear the tattoo of a sugar skull without my judgment. That's just the way nature works. Okay, maybe it just made me angry, not funny. <laughs> <laughs> but Facebook, it's getting me in trouble now with just my thought process. Like, like there was this big post I saw about a women's rights issue. It was a woman and she was standing in front of uh, the White House with a sign that said, Hey Congress, where are the jobs? They're not in my uterus. They're not in my uterus. Good moment to walk. Where are the jobs? They're not in my uterus. And my first thought was, well, if you charge, maybe they could be. <laughs> and that is what being a comedian has done to me, because I'm all for women's rights. But then I started thinking, like, can you really complain, complain when you have a perfectly and if you don't want to think about it as prostitution, you don't have to. But we'll do what I do and think of it more as you have a perfectly tiny, empty space for rent. <laughs> and I just want to lease it for about 30 minutes at a time. And it really works out for your advantage because I'm actually going to be there for about five. <laughs> so. This is a good night. Um. I'm actually going uh, to cut my time short, but because I'm on a roll. <laughs> I'm going to end the night with an AJ Figgy inspired pun. <laughs> I was watching TV and I saw a commercial for this new chicken farm, and their, their hook is like, they have these new eggs, they're, they're super rich and tasty, and the way they do it is they actually take the sons of the chickens and mate them with the hens. And apparently this gives you a more rich and uh, wonderful tasting egg. So rich, in fact, that their new slogan is, it's the incredible Oedipal egg. <laughs> Austin Lightning, that's all that fucking counts. Good night. Where's your buddy, ladies and gentlemen? Very well dressed for a late night Wednesday open mic. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Where's your buddy, everybody? Uh, your next comic, he's new to the scene. This guy's one of my favorite new comics, ladies and gentlemen, Josh Horsford. What's going on, McCormick? Woo! Make some noise! Yeah! That's good. Glad you're making noise. Um, so I'm going to see this new movie, right? I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Uh, it's a Tyler Perry movie. Um, it's called... <laughs> somebody booed? <laughs> That's what's up. Um, it's a, yeah, it's a Tyler, Tyler Perry movie. It's called uh, Anne Frank's Diary of a Mad Jewish Lady. Colon, I've been cooped up in here for too long. <laughs> she was in the attic for a long ass time. Huh? <laughs> um, I heard a really interesting quote the other day. Um, <clears throat> and it goes like, it's like this. It was like, yeah, I just love those niggas. <laughs> Which is a quote by Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Said minutes after he delivered the Emancipation Proclamation. Uh, he said it by himself. He, he, it was an uh, off-the-record quote. Uh, but, uh, um, but you guys are you guys familiar with that expression? Like, people
people people will be like, man, man, that place sucks dick. But they always mean it like in a bad way, which is confusing for me, because I love blowjobs. <laughs> I'm like, that place sucks dick? Psh, word. <laughs> let, me go, let me go comb my hair and put on a nice shirt. <laughs> get my dick sucked down look like some hood mom. <laughs> Like my roommate will come in and I'll say, man, bitch, holy son's dick. I'm like, really? <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> a burrito and a blowjob? <laughs> Sounds too good to be true so far. <laughs> Let me go comb my hair. <laughs> uh, now, but the only way that expression really works, if it's, if it's like, man, that guy's counsel sucks dick. My dick, when I was six years old, completely ruined my life. I wasn't ready for that type of experience. Ooh, shit, this shit does suck, man. You, you are absolutely right. <laughs> um, you guys familiar with that movie, uh, Robocop? Oh, yeah. Robocop. Apparently, they're making a new Robocop movie. I don't know why. Like, I'm, I'm like they already did. It's called Iron Man 1 and 2. Like, if, for anyone who in here has never seen Robocop, I'm going to give you like a, a summary. It's like, hey, Robocop, go get that guy. It's like, Robocop's like, on it. I'm gonna walk towards the camera. And I'm just like, man, Robocop, you fucking suck at fighting crime, man. You don't have a jetpack or nothing. Like, Robocop, how old are you, man? Shouldn't you be retiring soon? I hope they have some type of cyborg pension plan. <laughs> Robocop, man, you're not even 4G compatible. <laughs> Robocop, you I mean we gotta go to that? You gotta go, you gotta have Wi-Fi to go on IMBD? <laughs> Robocop, we don't have time to go to that internet cafe, man. <laughs> Robert, Eddie Murphy was in Dream Girls. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've been watching Looney Tunes. Watching Looney Tunes lately, and I'm pretty sure that Foghorn Leghorn is a racist. Like he has that whole like Southern drawl thing going on. Yeah, I can, <laughs> I can see, I can't just see him saying like, I say, I say, niggas are lazy. <laughs> Whoa, pump the brakes, you racist ass chicken. You can't go around throwing that word around like that, man. And I know he says it, like as soon as he gets around like other like, like-minded chickens and shit like that. <laughs> I know he's throwing around that word like, like her. I love, I like Paul Horn, like Horn. I love Looney Tunes, but all I'm saying is that that chicken's not voting for Obama. <laughs> Let's be real, like, it's a red steak chicken, like. <laughs> um, nah, but uh, VCU, any VCU people in the house? There we go. I go to VCU, I'm an English major at VCU. I love being an English major, but one day, before I like die, I want to walk into a restaurant, or like a bar or something like that, and someone be like, oh my god, is there an English major in the house? This shit's been so confusing. <laughs> what is what is the true subtext of King Lear? What, what am I supposed to make of Romeo and Juliet? And how am I gonna apply it to my life? Like, give me a pencil, a highlighter, and a notebook. Stat. <laughs> I'll be all over that shit. <laughs> Man, I'm time to play around. Um, but uh, clap, oh, uh, clap if you like that joke. Clap if you like that joke. <laughs> No, it's, it's not a way to boost my ego. No, it's, a, it's an experiment. Um, clap if you like uh, God. Clap if you like religion. No. <laughs> Me, as English, I love God. I love God. I, I mean, no. I love Shakespeare. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not a super religious person. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what I believe. I don't know what I believe yet. I'm still young. But um, it's a really, it's an old school, like, Joe going around, I wish I could take credit for, but it, like it's just like filtering around like the English department, and it's like, so if God is real, right, why would he make Shakespeare such a better writer than him? <laughs> I didn't say it, like that's, that's, a, that's a good, if you've ever read the Bible, it's no puns in the Bible, it's, no, it's pretty simple plurals, prose, but I don't know, I'm gonna get out of here on that note. <laughs> I, I had fun tonight, man. Um, support local comedy. Like, I love seeing um, fucking local comic places packed like this. Tell your friends. Come back. Put this microphone in here. I had, I had fun. 
Make some noise for your host and everybody else you're going to do Josh Horsford, everybody. Have a good night, guys. Ride safe.